Tervist! Täna on 7. juuni 2014. aastal ja täna õhtul on toimumus Pärnus Fookuses järjekordne eksistants. Selle raames on täna üles astumas mitte artist ja kodukandist, vaid lausa paar riiki lõuna poolt. Kuigi mees võib-olla isegi natukene Eesti pärase nimega. Toomas, või siis teisite tuntud kui fingalik. Täna räägime natukene tema ka jutt. Ja kuuleme, mis tema elust arvab. Hi, Thomas. Hi, man. So, you're finally in Parano. That's your first time here. It's not your first time in Estonia, and it's not actually your first gig in Estonia during this week. Yesterday you had a gig in Tallinn, yeah. and you also performed uh, at the Tallinn Music Week a couple of months ago. So, how is Estonia treating you? Wow, like Estonia is actually one of the places that I love coming back to. Uh, from from the first time uh, that I was invited here, uh, it was my gig uh, with uh, Search of Sounds guys uh, from Talent. They kind of uh, found me in, on SoundCloud, invited me. Turns out the gig was with uh, Machine Drum, uh, who was my like and still is my number one uh, in influence and inspiration. So uh, the first from the first time to like a couple of gigs later um, then kind of I was involved with um, a project called Baltic Trail that happened in um, August uh, 2013 so after that I got more and more involved with uh, the Baltic scene as um, the uh, like the, the, the thing Baltic Trail and Talon just I like, kept coming back to it like every month I guess uh, during autumn and then Right now, yeah, I'm, I'm back here and loving it, loving it. Um, is it the same with Latvia? Do you visit Latvia as well? No, no, no actually. Like, I, we, we, used to, we used to go there more often before. You know, it's closer. Uh, actually, Latvia has a more urban or uh, beats-oriented electronic music scene, uh, which appealed to, to Lithuanian electronic music scene in the beginning because um, me... I myself and my colleagues, we started from uh, from Beats and from uh, LA, Flying Lotus Inspirations, you know. So Latvia seemed like a very natural um, uh, colleague, like a very natural partner. Um, however, things like started growing and, and, and expanding very rapidly in Lithuania. Like we discovered um, like every genre of electronic music, like a lot of house and techno producers spawned um even like beyond borders beyond genres and so um we kind of tend to uh go to talon more because here uh i feel that the the crowd and the people are i mean like more innovative and um um like a lot of promoters and a lot of um uh, promoters trying to bring in new talents like uh inga copeland hype williams they were in talon not so long ago um, like every major artist, like Bonobo, Mount Kimbi, you know, like people come here and 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 uh, and play their music, and people appreciate it. So, right now, Tallinn, the number one Baltic city. If, yeah, that's that's nice to hear that Tallinn has uh, become so popular. But you talked about where the Lithuanian electronic scene got started, but. What's the main influence right now? What's what's Lithuanian electronic music uh, like right now? Um, I guess we still have a very um, strong underground scene, which is um, we have we have a club that rules basically everything in Vilnius. Well, because Vilnius is the heart of electronic music in Lithuania. Uh, we have a club called Opium, and um, the guys there, uh, Vidis who is a like very successful and famous DJ um, and also like a couple of his colleagues uh, basically uh, a guys called silence family they they run the club and they bring in uh, well the latest the newest uh, uh, dance music producers whether it's techno house or or whatever genre so um, like uh, from night slugs crew to uh, Ame John Talabot like whoever is hot at the moment they bring it in unfortunately that only goes for dance music DJs and producers so um, 
other crews have to bring in you know live acts and 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 so people at Loftus, uh, this uh, huge venue, are doing that, uh, bringing in rap crews and, and, and live performances. Right now it's a bit hectic, like all over the place, but I feel that electronic music specifically is moving towards um, uh, like a I don't know, more complex sound because, as I said, we started from beats and gradually like went through genres now people are discovering like 170 jungle breaks you know footwork um not not even discovering like footwork is so like a long long time ago and trap past uh Mumbaton past like so many inspirations just went through i think they didn't stay because they just let uh, producers and people uh grow up and right now i think we're in this on the stage on the in the stage of um those producers actually coming out with their own like unique stuff. There are a lot of young producers who grew up with with the growth of electronic music in Vilnius. Yeah, I can see that uh, that Lithuanian musicians are becoming quite popular all around. You yourself uh, recently actually produced two songs for an American rap artist. Yeah, Gold Link. How did that happen? Uh, Rappers, rappers are crazy. <laughs> rappers are crazy. Americans are crazy. Uh, I think it first started with um, uh, the American crew selection, like picking me up and 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 being really interested in, in in the house productions that I house music production that I did. Um, so, actually, a lot of my following is from from the United States, which is you know, um, maybe not odd because there are you know way more people there, but. The following is like really um, interesting. They're they're uh, very into house and rap uh, clash, house and rap hybrid right now in 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 America, uh, especially what Selection is bringing out. They um, recently went to to London to have like a, a huge um, gig there in Boiler Room and then some couple of gigs. European people also love what those American uh, like innovators do. Um, so, naturally, they felt that my sound, uh, that R&B influenced, urban influenced house music, or dance music, whatever you call it, at that time it was, uh, that it appealed a lot to Americans. Then they kind of started, uh, you know, trying to get together. Uh, unfor unfortunately, we didn't agree on a, on a release together, but uh, a lot of rappers kind of started asking me for music for, you know, Hey, dude! Like nice, nice sounds on SoundCloud. Can we, you know, start thinking about you know, collaboration? And uh, as I said, like a lot of people, a lot of rappers, like eighty percent of them are actually bad, um, in my opinion. And then you know, there are a few who are actually very interesting and inspiring. So this guy Goldling just um, he instantly sent me uh, a rap on my track already, and like. That's how it started. Uh, then, uh, like, appeared that uh, he's doing a, a, a mixtape, a full release, with uh, productions from uh, also uh, uh, Sango, I think, who is even uh, quite Ronada. I think. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, those guys who kind of uh, were we were in 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 his eyes, we were like in the in the same stage as we were producing, you know, R and B house music uh, for him, and he describes his own music as. Um, uh, what was it called? Uh, bounce, like future bounce, I think. So future bounce. That's that's the new hype in in America. I guess uh, a few of my previous productions really fitted. I checked a little bit of your songs. Basically, when you started or when you uploaded your songs in two thousand eleven on the compilation Rerobs, oh, yeah. you had this. Uh, Little nineties influenced uh, house music going on. Later on, you got the the four play EP, and after that, two minds, which was quite minimal even. Mm. And now you got this thousand nights going on, and you kind of have even this disclosure is <laughs> yeah. sound in it. So, so what's next? Where are you moving forward? Um, um, yeah, the the journey has been really exciting. Exciting. Um. At the moment, I am uh, very, very inspired by, um, well, just a, a little backdrop. Um, I, I sang in a choir for a long time, and I still consider myself as, as a part of that choir. I just don't have time to, to uh, 
to go to the to, to rehearsals. But uh, right now, a lot of inspiration comes from uh, Latin uh, music, from Latin music, from texts, uh, from uh, well, religious texts with no religious intent actually, but just just texts and um, churches and their architecture and like this this uh, sacral sacred uh, aura that's been around and like the i don't know the 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 the, the hugeness the of 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 those churches everything about sound design reverb in it i'm just going into like little details but overall um i'm experimenting as 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 hard as i've never have like with 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 sounds with uh, crackles and and whistles and i'm also singing uh i kind of uh came into a, a, a agreement with myself that i can actually like i i can't sing i'm not a singer i never practiced to be a soloist even though i i sing from like 3 years old but uh i never liked uh, my voice i always felt horrible when singing live and now i kind of start doing it more and and you know I'm comfortable with it, at least uh, in my in my um, uh, recordings. So I think this will be like my next release and my next um, music output will be uh, quite conceptual. But at the same time, I always try to um, bring in the inspirations that inspire me and put something out of you know my own. Yeah, I can see that you're getting yeah quite popular all around the place. So you're getting a lot of live requests as well, I'm guessing. So who are you going to be performing with next, and who would you like to perform okay. next year this year? Um, I um, at, at the at the beginning of of, of autumn, I mean uh, this year, I started playing with a with a band called Without Letters. Uh, we play um, we play electronic acoustic music, uh, something inspired by Electro Gucci. And uh, and um, and falls um, and a lot of a lot of artists that play, uh, for example, techno music with live instruments. That was like my first time that I started playing with a band, and it's it's given so much to to my you know own project. So uh, we are also getting uh, a lot of um, a lot of upstart. Uh, we just released our our, our vinyl um, called Self Titled. Uh, for tracks, uh, f yeah, a lot of vinyls actually. Uh, we're sending them, like we're selling them internationally and sending selling them locally. And next week we're uh, playing with Mount Kimby in Riga and and in Vilnius. Uh, so um, it's it's also like pretty exciting as I can focus on one thing and then also you know have this other uh, really strong uh, uh, feeling of of of. of performing with with great artists uh, as for myself i would really really love to uh, go to a, a an international festival this year however i don't think that will happen because usually festivals book it uh, earlier uh, but uh, i recently played with anishka in in riga uh, and they kind of signed to uh, worldwide to uh, giles peterson label brownswood and we kind of uh, they liked what i do we, we had a pretty nice connection, so if I keep like trying and keep outputting music, I guess uh, next week, like my goal is, oh, next year, my goal is uh, to uh, uh, get back on 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 uh, touring like abroad, uh, because I, I really liked when I could uh, uh, go to uh, Berlin or Saint Petersburg and and you know perform there. You have a you have a quite quite nice baggage of songs nowadays have you ever thought that maybe I'd, oh, i'm not going to do any lives anymore i'm just going to dj i'm just going to play my songs to the people and <laughs> and it's it's far more easier yeah, but yeah well like i think that um well i think that one of one of the escape routes that i have like one of the one of the low blows one of the cards that i can do is sing live and uh not not that i'm you know as i said not that i'm a you know amazing singer but it feels natural like it feels for for a, for a listener maybe it, immer it immerses uh, him or her 
more and and uh, the performance isn't isn't actually um, I'm, I'm always uh, upgrading always trying to to uh, get into more instruments I'm, I'm now trying to uh, learn bass and, and uh, I'm already implementing it in my uh, songs and my recordings so I'm trying to implement it in my live performances you know guitar drums all these live live bits that I'm I'm really looking forward to getting to because I come from a, a live music background I started you know musical schools choirs whatever really miss the, the the element of music itself in in, in electronic music nowadays as you said like uh, you know anyone can uh, produce a song and play it uh, uh, through a DJ set uh, I don't like that uh, for one I can't DJ uh, for good like I, I, I don't I'm not a good DJ but um, yeah, it kind of it's very stale uh, phenomenon right now where a producer just uh, has like a keyboard and a laptop and you know that's that's what he does without you know any any like uh, live or uh, experience. However, um, all those all those performances in big festivals like uh, Dark Side, John Hopkins, and and you know guys who who can still do that like do do a couple of uh, uh, hardware things and still perform amazingly this is yeah this is there's so many ways you can you can uh, try to perform like so many ways you as a person knowing uh, electronic da dance music and then I'm guessing that you listen to uh, all kinds of electronic music quite often what's going to be this summer sound Wow, that's that's nice. It's always hard to to it's always hard to um, to guess uh, because, for example, in two thousand and twelve or two thousand and two thousand and thirteen, I think it was techno. For example, like I I can judge always by by um, uh, we have this festival in Lithuania sat outside, which is like the biggest electronic music festival, or not maybe well yeah the biggest. Um, so. Every year is like different. 2013 was techno. 2012 was uh, was uh, uh, trap music and all that movement. You know that swaggy. Uh, I guess we kind of we thought that it's going to be grime, grime and and uh, hard like dubstep, again like because the patterns are uh, kind of repeating themselves. But now, yeah, it's it's really hard to say. I think it's from what. Uh, artists are coming to to Sata. Uh, uh, it's it's going to be dubby dubby maybe like 170 uh, jungle a bit influenced music. Uh, new releases coming from from uh, big artists like uh, Machine Drum Throwing Snow, uh, Martin Faulty DL. All these artists are very bass music oriented, but they create. Uh, like co more complex music. That said, it's not you know what what you should play in a in a in a in a huge two thousand people tent to to dance to. So maybe maybe techno is still there. Maybe house music is still there to be for people to dance to. But um, listening wise, I think complex electronic music is like getting it's it's getting ahead. And what's going to be this year's festival of the year? Festival so of the year. Well, I think in Baltics is it's it's always uh, Positivus is a very prominent festival, with uh, which is a very professional. Even though it's you know a mainstream festival, it's, it's a very professional festival. Like we played there last year, uh, they have the Red Bull Music Academy like uh, c uh, stage where a lot of you know I I inspiring artists and new artists, upcoming artists play, uh, but. I, I think well sonar is is is, is next next week uh, and uh, most of the most of the top the top notch artists will play there so I guess we'll see what sonar looks like and then uh, at the end of August it's outlook and dimensions uh, like these two festivals in Croatia who also have a huge arsenal of uh, of, of artists and we also played an Outlook in 2012 uh, in the, in a boat party. Those festivals, those huge festivals, are like what an electronic music fan or a listener should lift to, towards, because 
this whole year you you sit you know at your computer at your desk like you you wake up in the morning you kind of dig through new sound the, the soundcloud feed you, you search for new tracks oh you know subtract uploaded the new track with soundflow yeah yeah, yeah. and i mean it's a cool track and then you kind of start compiling this huge huge like inventory of what you heard this year and then at the end of the year you have to go to a big festival to hear it live because you know it will just fade away it will be just 2013 year of you know of good soundcloud songs but then you have to go and listen to it live and especially if the artists perform it you know thoroughly and and with love and yeah these big festivals are really really worth going to even if they cap you know ca cost a lot of money just my advice for everyone <laughs> since you have a sound check to go to I'm gonna ask the last question. Okay. Who's gonna win the World Cup this year? Well, a lot of people are saying Germany. <laughs> I don't know. Like I, I wouldn't bet uh, my cards on Germany. I, I am, I am riddled. Uh, maybe Brazil with some new, new additions uh, can can actually, you know, and and with the home hometown, uh, home country advantage can can show what's. What's uh, the Brazilian football always been about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but thanks for coming yeah, thank and, you. and have a nice gig tonight. Yes. And uh, let's see how you like Pärnu. Ja teie, käige kindlasti eksistantsi pidudel. Vaadake videosid ja ma arvan, et alla tuleb ka info, kus te võite leida eelnevaid intervjuusid. Minu poolt tänaseks, tšau!